This elegant annual tradition has been a part of our community for 67 years, and each year it just keeps getting better. Susie Christie is here to tell us what is in store for the Silver and Turquoise Ball. Susie, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's kind of take maybe a step back a little bit and tell me how this ball came to be. Well, it began as an end-of-season event for what, what used to be called the Festival Society, which was a series of little parties that the, that the society would have throughout the year. And it was the end of the season to celebrate. It started out as a potluck in uh -huh. the backyard. And um, it extended the season a little bit and, and helped our winter visitors to stay just a little bit longer. But it used to be literally um, pick, uh, egg salad sandwiches <laughs> on the lawn, and, <laughs> and it's become this elegant historical event that we have today. Well, it definitely has transformed. And I know you have the ball itself kind of has a history with the venue that we're having it at. Kind of tell me about that relationship. The Arizona Inn, actually Isabella Greenway, the original proprietor, of course, of the Arizona Inn, um, was instrumental in the ball itself yeah. from the very beginning in the year 1950. And um, the original potluck was supposed to be at her house, but it started to rain. And so she said, well, why don't we bring everything over to the inn? And so they did, and, and it's been held there ever since. And it's really, the gardens are in full bloom. It's the perfect time of year for the event. And uh, the inn just does a beautiful job of rolling out the red carpet for us and our guests. And the food is incredible. There's just so much to see and do. It's wonderful. You have me sold it. The food is wonderful. <laughs> it really, it really is. So tell me more about what the evening is like if I if I come in. Well, you'll be welcomed in by bagpipers and the wonderful music from the bagpipers. Here you're seeing the people out on the patio sipping their cocktails and visiting before dinner. Um, the garden in full bloom, as you can see. Um, and then you go through the receiving line, and you when you walk into the inn, you'll see all of the beautiful, incredible floral arrangements. This year we're focused on peonies and pearls. That's that's my personal, some of my personal favorites. Yeah. But it's very elegant. Here's the mariachis uh, we usually have. And then after dinner we have a big band this year. It's called uh, The Shining Star. It's a band from Phoenix. And everybody loves to dance to this band. It's wonderful. There's a big dance floor outside and a dessert bar. And it's just a wonderful, elegant event that everybody goes and has a great time. And as we're looking at these pictures, you know, we don't always get an opportunity, as I call it, to doodle up. This is that opportunity. Exactly. Put on your best, go out, have a fun night. These pictures, look at everyone. They are just having such a great time. Exactly. And part of the fun as well is to go and see all the beautiful gowns that everyone's wearing. And of course, all of the men are, are in their tuxedos. And it's just, while it's an elegant, formal event, it's, it's just have a good time, kick up your feet, dance, yeah. and, and really enjoy yourself. And on top of all that, let's put a little bit of icing on that wonderful cake that you're talking about. Who is the beneficiary? Well, this was um, started back in 1993. Um, we decided that our ball was going to, we, we are not a fundraiser. We don't specifically raise money for any organization, mm -hmm. but we have been, um, since 1993 when we began, we are the second largest benefactor to the Mission Santa Vera del Bac. Mm -hmm. And we're um, currently, they have the scaffolding up for, for um, restoring the second tower. It's very exciting. So things are moving forward in that, in that direction also. And we're very proud to be um, a benefactor of this wonderful um, white dove of the desert. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Oh, well, uh, there's so many reasons uh, to talk about this event and why everyone should come. So I'm going to let them know how they can do just that. Susie, thank you for coming. Wonderful, Tina. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. Now the 67th annual Silver and Turquoise Ball will take place Saturday, May 6th at 6 p.m. at the gorgeous Arizona Inn. For tickets, give them a call at 990-6119 or visit silverandturquoiseball.org.